Well, a good Wednesday and a happy Halloween to everybody in Southwest Louisiana. If there's one benefit to having the rain, which we do need to begin with, is that at least it's done a good job of cooling things off. Here are the temperatures across Southwest Louisiana, which despite the rain actually is not that spooky since most of us, in fact, all of our locations here are into the 70s. That includes the temperature down to 70 degrees over at Fort Johnson right now. A quick look outside over in the South Lake Charles shows a lot of that rain still on outside with temperatures down into the 70s, 73 at the Sky Cam location. Even in Jennings, I don't see rain. Maybe if you rain drops on the camera, you can certainly see the darker clouds outside looking there and you can still obviously see that on the satellite and radar too. Now here's the rain that we had moved through Southwest Louisiana so far today and you'll notice there's still a lot of activity across our viewing area. Here's some good news though. The bulk of this activity is still moving east to west. It's basically through the middle portion of Southwest Louisiana right now and it's going to continue sliding off to the east heading into the evening hours. Hope it continues on its current track and speed we may be able to get some of that out of here in time for trick or treating. Now, of course, that's the big question. What are things going to look like for trick or treating? No doubt it's going to be damp. Even if you don't receive rainfall, certainly there's going to be water around. You may want those rain boots anyways. If you are going to collect some candy for those ghosts and ghouls outside, I do still think a few showers could be around, especially early on. So let's take a look at the specifics here. Here is Futurecast. It's doing a pretty good job with the placement of some of the rain we have right now. Let's go forward in time, though. I think eventually this line of showers and storms begins to move off to the east and even by early this evening. If you're in the western half of our viewing area, you may see more breaks in the rain and more favorable conditions to go outside and get those Halloween activities in. I think for eastern portions of the area, it may take a little bit longer this evening to get some of that rain outside, so continue to keep a close eye on the sky and the radar. If you do that, that's probably the most surefire way that you'll know if any rain is headed your way in case you do want to get out and about. I do think later on this evening, though, we should see more opportunities to go outside and get those candies. Who can go for a Kit Kat bar right now? I think I can. Now heading into tomorrow, we'll get that rain out of here during the morning hours tonight. By tomorrow, we'll still have some clouds around, maybe a few breaks of sunshine. I do think that will be enough, though, to get a few showers out and about during the afternoon and early evening. Although I think this model has the right idea, it won't be as widespread as what we saw today. The reason for that has to do with the front continuing to move off to the north. And by Saturday, I think things stay fairly dry. By Sunday and Monday, a few showers could begin to return and then go those rain chances go up by Tuesday as another front approaches. A quick look at the tropics here shows one area we're watching in the Caribbean. It has a decent chance to develop this weekend or next week. It is still far too early to know what ultimately becomes of that. We'll continue to keep you updated on that. But here in Southwest Louisiana, though, yeah, I don't think Halloween is tomorrow. Unfortunately, it's only a one day thing. I can tell you, Agnes, though, that a few showers may be around, but Saturday we get to enjoy that sunshine again. All right. Well, still to come.